I'd like to see him handle the ball a little bit more. Tried to handle it earlier and had a missed exchange on a handoff, but now he has it. Handoff to the 49. Zone, which he does. Drotty comes up, makes a nice tackle. Drotty from Santa Barbara, California. It's safety for the Rams on defense. Austin Allen to catch, and the big tight end driving down the left side. First down at 22-yard line. This drive started after a Jojo Doman interception. Marquis Stepp driving. Into the red zone now before Ryan Greenhagen, last year's Patriot League Defensive Player of the Year, the preseason pick for the same award, gets up off the bottom of the tile with making the tackle. Third and 18 today. Torrey last week, three catches, ran it on a jet sweep a couple of times, but right now it is just right through the heart of the defense. Just over nine minutes played in the first quarter, Nebraska's second drive of the game. Marquis Stepp. Looked like there was room, but the room closed up pretty quickly. He's inside the 10 to the 9. Well, you can see how he diagnoses things. He reads things well. Step in at the line. Greenhagen among those who drive down step at the 6-yard line. It looked like he was held, but does a nice job of coming over and knocking him out of bounds. Omar Manning had a block to help Toure on that 20-yard run. Now Gabe Urban on first down at the 42. Just spreads it out here on offense on third down and 7. Inside the 20, Anthony Diodato coming with pressure. Martinez got away from one and two, but he eventually could not get away from Ryan Greenhagen. It's a sack, a loss of two, and fourth and nine. Greenhagen is he's seemingly calling him on every single play. He is really on, he's on his horse, he's on his game. After the block field goal, Nebraska starting from their own 31. Martinez, a throw down the seam and a catch in Fordham territory. Nicely done as Samori Toure takes it to the 38 of the Fordham Rams. Real factor in big plays and passing plays for Nebraska so far. Marquis Step, USC transfer, jammed up right at the line to gain for the first down on second and two. You can't play, you can't take a 300 pound guy on with your hands. You gotta stick your face in his chest. And running the ball again is Step. This is 10 carries in the game now for Step. He's in the backfield, and it's Step. Second and goal at the eight. James Conway stands him up at the four. They did. They used a timeout on defense a moment ago, but still two timeouts. Handoff up the middle. A bounce by Morrison for a gain of two. And uh, I knew you would remember. <laughs> there was no doubt in my mind. All day, Martinez, will he run or throw? He'll throw. And Austin Allen is the recipient of the throw. And Martinez is feeling the benefit of that, of being protected. Where a week ago, he didn't. Savion Morrison running. Fourth career interception, two of them today. Marquis Stepp is the running back. The interception and return, put him at the 36. Room for Stepp. Crosses midfield and into Fordham territory. Fordham can't generate a pass rush. The only way they can do it is if they bring an extra person and are afraid to go to man coverage because they can't run with the receivers. Step hard to bring down. Process. They are culture keepers right now, showing players practice, film study, how to eat right, showing everybody how to do things the right way. Step's doing that right now. On the right side, there's Ben Hart, 54. And Sick him in 70. We're just crushing him. And running behind that right side of the line again. He's from Indianapolis. Second down to the 10. Step hit hard by Greenhagen. That was a take your breath away collision between Greenhagen and Step at the six yard line. Yeah, and so Greenhagen's been very active. We'll all be featured coming up on Tuesday. Another running play here on set. He runs a sub 11 second 100 meters. Has a lot of big runs against the defense in practice, and now he's getting game reps. Thomas Moore prep in Connecticut. Smothers will keep it on the option. Turns the corner, shy of the first down. Ryan Greenhagen wraps him up at the 15. Dates back to the Big 8. They actually played for the last time in a Big 12 championship game in 2010. Logan Smothers on second down. Smothers with a lot of room to run. A big hit. Oh, wow. Ryan Greenhagen lowered the 
boom on him at the 40 yard line. Oh, Greenhagen, he hasn't slowed down all game, has he? Yeah, he, he had a lot of time to throw the football. He was able to make good decisions, and heck, that's what should happen. And good job by uh, exactly what this offensive line had to do and defensively. So, pretty much a, a well rounded game, which is what you expected from this game. Greenhagen on another tackle and getting valuable reps in the back half of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter today. Pushing the pile for a first down. The front line still going. <laughs> Nebraska started the season 0-1 and 3 in three of the last four years, but they'll be back on level terms. 15 yards. Nebraska getting a lot of backs into the game now. Jaquez Yant. Yant's running it. Marvin Scott running. And that tackle by Ryan Greenhagen puts him at 29 tackles. How many solos do you have? 12. 12 solos. Yeah, that's a busy day. And, you know, he's, <laughs> yeah, I want to say, he, he plays like that all the time. He's around the football constantly. They do a nice job of keeping people off of him. But, I mean, he just runs sideline to sideline. He's just tackling people everywhere. It's on the Buck Buchanan Award watch list for the Defensive Player of the Year in FCS. Marvin Scott running, shy of the five-yard line. He'll get to 30. I think he just did, as a matter of fact. He's a did, you ever make, did you ever make 30 tackles? Over the course of about, yeah, five or six games. <laughs> <laughs>